Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for kind of, uh, introduction, Mr. Chairman. Um, my topic is about a study on short pitch wheel corrugation in mature tracks with the uh, Witherland Fastler. I will lay my stress on the following aspects. Now let's look at the uh, introduction. As we know, the up wheel transit developed fastly in recent years in China. And by the end of the 2017, 33 cities have opened over 100 subway lines. Uh, its total mileage is about 3,884 kilometers. So to satisfy the more restricted regulation on vibration and noise, uh, vibration isolation techniques are widely used uh, in China mature lines, uh, such as uh, within the end fast fluted slip, slips, light slips, and spring fluted uh, slab tracks, and so on. Uh, however, short pitch corrugation for track with within the uh, fast loads have happened widely in different uh, uh, mature lines in China. The wavelength of the short pitch corrugation is about uh, 30 to 60 millimeters. It uh, results the noise disturbance and uh, uh, the discomfort for passengers and uh, the component of the failing uh, for train and track in the uh, material lines. The vigilant fast alerts um, mainly include the uh, clonk, Rangard and uh, JJ3. Their vertical stiffness uh, are less than 20 kilo newton per millimeter. Uh, as for the Rangard Fastler, its uh, vertical stiffness is uh, very low, of about 5 to 8 kilo newton per millimeter. It is uh, used to isolate view view vibration by flooding. Uh, flooding the wheel like this. Uh, a type of the short, short, short pitch corrugation for one color fasteners are founded in different, different uh, mature lines, including uh, the straight, the, the, the curved, different curved tracks and uh, the straight line, as shown in this picture. To investigate uh, the wavelength and the frequency of wheel corrugation, uh, wheel roughness for tracker with the one guard faster are uh, measured by using a device called the uh, uh, corrugation analysis tool. The left figure gives the wheel roughness along the traveling distance. From the figure, we can see the crust and the shaft uh, of the corrugation. And the right figure gives the spectrum of wheel, uh, wheel roughness for, diff, uh, for, for tracks with different uh, curves. We can, we, from this figure, we can see the male wavelength, male wavelength, uh, male, uh, the corrugation with the male wavelength of 30 to 40 millimeter ha happened and the curved, uh, tra curved, curved and strained tracks. Mm. What's more, we also summarize the male features of corrugation and tracks with the run guard fastler at the Changsha Metro Light 2 uh, after 2.5 years of vehicle operation. From the table, we can find the male wavelength of the corrugation is about 30 to 60 millimeters. According to the speed of the tree, we can get the passing frequency of corrugation. And they are about 342 to 694 hertz. What's more, um, the same wavelength boundaries of 30 to 60 millimeter and the passing frequencies of the 340 to 700 hertz for corrugations have been, found, have been also found on the tracks with wrangled fast loads and other mature lights. Uh, like uh, Guangzhou Mature Life 5, Guangzhou Mature Life 3, Ch Chengdu Mature Life 4, and so on. 
The question is, what does the wavelength and the frequency of corrugation mainly depend on? To answer this question, we do some experiments. And this figure gives the RMS of the wheel roughly uh, at, the at the curve with the radius of 800. In the figure, we can find the two types of the fast loads. But from this figure, the different wavelengths of corrugation and one curve have, found, have happened. Uh, for the current, current fast load, also called the DTVI, is the wavelength of corrugation about, is about uh, 160 to 200 millimeter. But for the wavelength fast load, the wavelength of corrugation is about 40 to 60 millimeters. The passing frequencies are also different. Uh, the first frequency is about 150 to 144, and the, the, the second is about 380 to 530. So there are two types of the wheel corrugation and one curve. But the vehicle and operation conditions are the same. Only the type of the fastener is different. Therefore, the stiff list of fastener play an important role and the wavelength of corrugation. To investigate the vibration or behaviors of the wheel, the acceleration of wheel head is measured when the, tr when the track passing through are corrugated and non-corrugated tracks. This is a corrugated without, this is a low corrugated without. After grounding, there's low corrugation, like this. Um, besides, the wheel search of the trusted vehicle are also we provide to keep the round list of the wheel surface. Um, this is the result uh, um, measured. Uh, this figure, the two figures gives the vertical acceleration of wheel herd uh, when, the, when the vehicle passing through the corrugated and low corrugated tracks. In the red figure is the result after wheel grounding. The black figure is the result before wheel grounding. And from this figure, we can find the peaks of wheel head vertical vibration happened at the frequency of 400 to 630 hertz. Besides, after wheel grounding, the peaks of the vibration also happen and this and those frequencies. What's more, peaks of the wheel vibration and those frequencies for conventional fast loads haven't have occurred under similar operation conditions. So the vibration after wheel landing at the dominant, dominant frequencies probably stem from the dynamic characteristic of the track which one got faster. To analyze the uh, char dynamic characteristic of track, the uh, wheel acceleration response is calculated when the track is excited by white hole noise. This figure gives the result of the wheel corrugation response. We can find the wheel vibrates. Vibrates firstly at the frequency of 450 to 640 hertz. Um, in this, in those, those frequencies, the vertical vibration model of model shape of the track is about a wheel vertical bundling and the wavelength faster, faster. So wheel vertical bundling and the wavelength faster is related to the, the elision of the uh, corrugation. Uh, we also simulated the wheel wheel contact force uh, by uh, a two, oh, I'm sorry, a, th a three dimensional element for wheel wheel transient contact is established as, a, is established as top of the figures. In the model, 
the primary suspension and the run guard faster are simulated as a uh, spring and the dumpling elements. The view third is con is only considered as a vegetated body um, because we only wanted to study the influence of the flexible track. The following fig figures give the result. When the track track when the vehicle passing through a wheel scratcher, the scratcher have have a different wavelengths. Uh, from this figure, this figure gives the spectrum of the vertical force when the vehicle passing through a wheel scratcher. Uh, the red run is the result of the wavelength of the scratcher is uh, 40 millimeter. The peaks of the wheel real force is the uh, largest at, at the frequency of the 460 to 400 to 60, 30 hertz. When the wavelength of the scratch is a far away, far away, 30 to 50 millimeter. The peaks of the vertical force at a major at a major frequency decreased. So the wheel view vertical force it at a frequency of 400 to 600 is the maximum. The corrugation of the 30 to 50 millimeters will easily develop when the vehicle passing through. At last, I will give my conclusion. The first, a short pitch corrugation with a wavelength of 30 to 60 millimeter cats and tracks with run cut faster for both the curve and strain lines. A typical corrugation frequency is in the range of 340 to 700 hertz. The short pitch corrugation occurs and track of the one cut fastler is strongly related to the wheel vertical bundling and fastlers. Wavelength and the passing frequency of the corrugation depends on the stiffness of wheel fastler. Tracks with the wavelength fastlers for the vertical stiffness of less than 20 kilo Newton per millimeter are easily produced produced the short pitch corrugation with a wavelength of 30 to 60 millimeter in child's virtual lines. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation.